Hello, good and dark Leute. Heute lernen wir Passive Voice. So in German there are many types of Passive Voice, but today we are going to learn Passive Presence. So basically in Passive Presence, the action is more important than the person who is doing the task. Like I am writing a letter. A letter is being written by me. So in this sentence, action is more important than the person who is doing the task. So how to have the passive voice sentences? Let me write the active sentence. Ich schreibe einen Brief. So this is an active sentence. This is active sentence. Ich schreibe einen Brief. So if you want to convert this sentence into passive sentence, then what we need to do? We will just bring the object on the place of subject and we use word and, uh, word and verb in a conjugated form. So passive voice will be with word and plus participle zwei. The participle zwei of the verb which was used in the active voice sentence. So first of all, we can uh, see the conjugated form of the word. And with ish, it is word do wist er s and z. It will be weird. Iher. Word it. We are warden. Z and Z will also be warden. With singular, it will be weird. So, what we would need? We will just need to identify that what was the subject and what was the object. So here in the passive voice, action will be more important and the subject, the person who was doing the task will be less important. So what we need to do, we will just bring this object as subject. So it will be ein brief. Now here you need to identify that which form of the word and will be used with ein brief. So ein brief is singular. So what we would need, we would need weird so ein brief weird and then we would need the participle zwei form of the verb so verb is schreiben conjugated form of schreiben is schreiber and here i would need the participle zwei form that is geschrieben so ein brief weird Geschrieben. In this sentence, you can see that action is more important than subject. If you want to specify that a letter is being written by me, if you want to just mention me in the sentence, then what you would need to do? Ein Brief wird von mir. Ein Brief wird von mir geschrieben. If I ask you, was Max do? Then you can say, ein Brief wird geschrieben. If you want to specify that a letter is being written by me, then you have to mention, ein Brief wird von mir geschrieben. Let's take more examples. Er schickt eine E-Mail. Er schickt eine E-Mail. So if I need to convert this sentence into passive voice, then what I need to do, I will bring this object as subject. So this will be eine E-Mail. And the conjugated form of word will be weird. Geschickt. So, eine email will get checked. So, in active voice, if we have 
accusative object then that accusative will object will become the nominative or subject so air sick tiny email i na email with get sick but what will happen if we have preposition in any sentence in our active voice sentence let's take example ich kaufe einen computer für dich so basically in this sentence this is nominative because who is buying this is of accusative why because this is a, is an direct object plus the question is with what this is accusative preposition that's why this is accusative so ich kaufe einen computer für this active voice sentence now what i need to do i need to convert this active voice sentence into passive voice sentence so first of all i need to identify that what is the object here so object is einen computer einen computer is in accusative form so i will convert this accusative form into nominative so einen computer will become here ein computer so this is no longer an accusative object but this is an nominative subject single computer so the conjugated form of word and will be weird ein computer weird für dich gekauft so see here this is the conjugated form of word and and this is the participle swai form of kaufen verb so ein computer wird für dich gekauft so whenever we have a preposition in active voice sentence there won't be any changes in passive voice sentence with the preposition so preposition part remains same für dich ein computer wird für dich gekauft if want to if i want to mention that the computer uh, is being bought by me or i i just need to specify the person who is doing the task then this will be ein computer wird phone mir phone mir get out now let's take more examples ich nehme ein auto ich nehme ein auto active voice sentence so you need to uh, convert this sentence into passive voice so very simple example this will become subject ein auto weird genommen so here what we are doing instead of using the subject we are we are having object as a subject so ein auto weird genomar so in this sentence action is more important than uh, the subject what will happen if we have man in the sentence like in indian kauft man bmw let's take single bmw so in indian kauft man bmw so man is a general person so while uh, while converting this sentence into passive voice we will ignore this man because this is not important for us passive voice the action will be more important so we are going to ignore this man so bmw weird in indian get out or in indian weird bmw get caught so in both the sentences you can see that the verb is on the second position we are not doing any changes over here but the action is more important and we are just ignoring the man bmw weird in indian get caught so just try to speak the sentences in passive voice more examples we can take
जी कॉक्ट देन टे बेसिक सेंटेंस जी कॉक देन टे वॉट वी नीड टू डू ब्रिंक दिस ऑन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन दिस इज इन आकुजाट यू बिकॉज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज देयर सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस आकुजाट यू इन नॉमिनाट यू सो देर टे एंड टे इज जुमुलर सो द कॉन्जुकेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्डन विल बी वेर्ड and the participle swai form of kokan is get cocked that they would get cocked that they would get cocked so instead of this using this sentence z cocked then they 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 would get cocked you can use but if you want to mention that who is uh, uh, cooking the tea then you will use uh, that they would phone ear what is this phone phone is dative preposition so z will go in dative and it will become ear that they with phone ear get out so what we have learned whenever we have a preposition in an accusative sentence in active sentence then there will not be any changes with preposition in passive voice sentence okay number first second one if we have man in the sentence then while converting that sentence into passive voice the man word man will be ignored okay we can take more examples thomas trent einan wine thomas trent einan wine this is the basic sentence we will take all the examples once again so this is the basic one thomas trent einan wine you just need to bring this sentence here this part ein wine wird getrunken ein wine wird getrunken if you want to mention the name of the thomas then what you need to do ein wine wird von thomas ein wine wird von thomas getrunken So it's up to you if you want to mention the name of the person or that person, or you just want to make the uh, action more important instead of the subject. Now we will take the uh, a sentence with preposition. We are how fun. We are Kaufan Swai Bucher Pure Inn. We are buying two books for him. So this part will not be changed. Whenever we have the preposition, the preposition part will not be changed into in a uh, passive voice sentence. So Swai Bucher here. You need to uh, add the uh, conjugated form of pardon. This is plural. That's why it will be. Warden, Swai Bucher Warden, get caught. Swai Bucher Warden, get caught. If you want to mention where, then Swai Bucher Warden phone uns get caught. Here I will use phone uns. So this was an example with preposition. One more example with man. Man, parked here. Auto. Man parked here. Auto. Auto weird here. Get parked. So you can clearly see in the second sentence, that is the passive voice sentence, that action is more important than the person who is doing the task. Active voice sentence: Man parked here auto. Passive voice: 
ऑटो वीड शेयर गे पार्ट सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वाइल हैविंग द पास वे सेंटेंस वी आर इग्नोरिंग दिस मान बहुत एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव टेकन सो नाउ वी कैन सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक हाउस टू द हाउस ऑफ गाप गे मार्ट हैव यू डन द होमवर्क सो वॉट यू कैन डू इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दिस सेंटेंस इश मार्क द हाउस ऑफ गाबा यू कैन से द हाउस ऑफ गाब वीड गे मार्ट my question is has do the house of gaba ge marked so the normal sentence the response in active voice is ish mark hai the house of gaba but if you want to use the passive voice sentence then what you need to do you just need to ignore the ish house of gaba will be more important here so in pa passive voice sentence action will be more important house of gaba will be marked so what we did here we had the conjugated form of verb and and the participle swai form of the main verb that is marked house of gaba will be marked Let's assume we are in a shopping center, and if I ask you that what are you doing, what's Max do? You can say, "Ich kaufe eine Jeans für dich." I'm buying a jeans for you. My first response can be, "Ich kaufe eine Jeans für dich." instead of active voice sentence i can use the passive voice sentence as well and while using the passive voice sentence what i need to do i just need to ignore the subject and the action will be more important sentence will be eine jeans eine jeans weird für dich kept so i need jeans with pure dish kept we can also use pure dish weird i na jeans kept so both the sentences you can use i need jeans with pure dish kept pure dish with i need jeans kept so these both the sentences are passive voice sentence and this is active voice sentence and since we are learning passive presence so in passive presence the sentence structure would be verb and will verb will be conjugated and the participle swai form of the verb will be there